on this episode of Haroon Eats and Travels. We hit up Las Vegas, Nevada, the city of sin, man, to get our halal on. So while staying at the Venetian, we hit up Delmonico Steakhouse, a well-regarded restaurant that is a part of Emerald's Restaurant Group, created by the renowned chef Emerald Legacy. Believe it or not, all the beef items here are right, halal. We got to make our way over to Delmonico's. Let's see if we can get in. It's running a little late, so let's see. Delmonico Steakhouse is known for its high quality steaks and classic steakhouse ambiance. The restaurant prides itself on using premium cuts of meat and expertly preparing them to perfection. Apart from the steaks, they also offer a variety of other dishes including seafood, chicken, and pasta, all with a New Orleans flair. But we came here for the beef. Now if you didn't know, Delmonico's gets its meat from Creekstone Farms. And beef provided by Creekstone Farms is all halal certified. So, for those that don't know, we are at Delmonico's, um, and they use they use Creekstone Farm meat, so and beef. So all their steaks and even their burgers are actually cut from uh, Creekstone Farm beef. Um, so they're all it's all meat that is uh, grinded up for the burgers for the ch for the chuck. So so everything pretty much here is halal. That's beef. So anything that you see on the menu that's beef is halal. So. It's a really, really nice restaurant. You definitely want to kind of dress up a little bit, but uh, I think business business casual or like smart casual is okay. No crazy dress code, but you want to dress up a little bit. Lightweight. No sleeveless shirts, no swim trunks, none of that stuff, right? So we're going to be trying the lunch menu. So there's a steakhouse selection of, of a variety of different steaks. And then, of course, they have some other entrees that you could order, such as... Uh, um, the tenderloin sandwich and the uh, the uh, you know the tenderloin salad, tenderloin sandwich, as well as um, you know a variety of different burgers and whatnot as well. So yeah, we're excited to be here. What do you feel like ordering here? Oh, we're gonna probably do a steak, um, the filet mignon, and then we might do a three course meal just for one option, just to yeah, kind of have some. Filet mignon, the lobster bisque, tenderloin salad, shrimp. So, this isn't like a like a typical bread. This is like a, a very fluffy light, a croissant style bread, right? And to be honest with you, I think it's gonna be very rich, but I'm gonna give it a try. I just wanted to get the steaks and the <laughs> and a few other things, but um, we'll give this a try too. I'm trying to avoid the breads, but. It's here and it looks good and it smells good. Mm -hmm. Amazing set of herbs. You can taste the rosemary within the bread. Very nice and flaky, of course. So, in all honesty, I'm actually glad we came around this time during lunchtime. It's a less, it's, it's less crowded. I think there's like nobody here right now. <laughs> of course, it is Sunday. It's a Sunday uh, afternoon. So I would have expected probably this to be popping like on a, on a Saturday probably. We'll come and go. Yeah, yeah, for dinner, for sure. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. This is the, uh, the Louisiana, Louisiana barbecue shrimp, barbecue right? Shrimp. Let's give this a try. All right, guys, I'm going to give this shrimp a try. You know what? It's, so this is, I think, 
It's doused in the uh, the like Louisiana style barbecue sauce. Is it a little spicy or no? Has no. it got a little kick? No. no it's got a it's got a flavor. What kind of flavor? No, I mean, whatever flavor the flavor. It's like a barbecue it's got a flavor. Like gravy. <laughs> it's like a barbecue gravy. <laughs> it's got a flavor. <laughs> so okay, I think this is like a barbecue Louisiana style barbecue sauce, uh, barbecue shrimp. So mm -hmm. give it a try. It's really good. Mm. Mm. Nice and salty. My son insists I try the bread that's uh, immersed in the barbecue sauce that the uh, that the shrimp came in. Let's give this a try. Mm. It's very good. Wow. It is really rich though, man. <laughs> I don't think I can have any more bread. Yeah. So I think this bread actually tastes really good with mm -hmm. the sauce. This is a different bread though. I guess I'll give it a try. <laughs> Dipped it into the barbecue sauce. That was actually really good. It's caramelized. It's kind of like a caramelized brown sugar, right? Very good. Next up on our hit list is the lobster bisque. This. Let's see. So we got little, like, light chunks of this lobster immersed in this cream, and this one was highly recommended, so we thought we'd give it a try. Hey. Mm. That lobster bisque is amazing. Perfect amount of cream, perfect amount of salt, not too salty. And the lobster really tastes really good. Mm. It's really good. These are cream. I like the cream. It doesn't come with bread though. But it does taste good. It does good. Tastes good. Dip. Tastes good with the bread. Yeah, I agree. As soon as they brought out the steak knives and the plates, man. You already know what time it is, man. You already know what time it is. And introducing in all of its glory, Delmonico's bone-in ribeye and their filet mignon. Yo, my mouth was salivating, man, and truling. <laughs> Everything looks amazing. And now it's time to see if it actually tastes amazing as well. So, at a steakhouse, man, when you're eating steak, medium medium well is not the way to go. It's medium and under, no matter what. So, you got that nice nice little pink in there, and of course, salted and garnished perfectly, man, topped with butter. I, I don't know why I keep talking. I, I think I need to start eating. Excellent. You got the sauteed mushrooms. So this is the bone-in ribeye. We got this done. We have this uh, cooked at medium as well. Ooh, look at that. I think the kids are gonna like this. I, this has more, like, unlike the filet, like, I like the crust of this. So far, I haven't tried it yet, but I like that crunchy, crispy crust with the, uh, the dry, you know, with the, with the actual um, seasoning, you know, encrusted, right? So, you can see it is medium, but I think the kids will definitely like this one a little bit better as well. I'm ready to dig into this. This looks amazing. Let me get a little bit of these. Gotta get some of these mushrooms. These mushrooms are amazing. Actually, great toppers, great sound, for sure. You know what, I'm gonna try without the topper first, actually. I'm gonna try without the topper. That was good. That is really good. Crust, like I said, 
I knew this crust was going to be right. That's how I like my crust. Nice and fatty. Perfect amount of fat. And that medium, yeah, you can't, you can't go like over a medium, man, when it comes to a steak like this. This is, this is really good. Seasoning is perfect. I actually like it better than the filet. The filet is actually really nice. And I like the way, I like the way it's cooked, but this, the seasoning on this, um, this ribeye, bone-in, is perfect. Even though I'm in a fancy, in a fancy steakhouse, man, like Delmonico's, my manners are out the door now, man. This is too good to be eaten, like, properly, man. <laughs> I'm just shoving it in my mouth. This stuff is hella good. Do you like your steak, Andy? You good? I heard it's customary to take the bone at a fancy restaurant and just... Go for it. Mommy wants to do it. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to do it, but I really want to do it. You know what? Maybe I'll do it when nobody's looking. <laughs> when nobody's looking with no eyes on me. I'm going to look around. Like, you know that sneaky look that mommy doesn't like? That papa gives when... That Aiden look. Aiden does that too. Look. Sneaky look. <laughs> that bone-in, that bone-in ribeye is to die for. It is really, really good. This alone, with the mushrooms, is the reason to come out here, man, and give this place a try. So I like this um, filet mignon paired with the mushroom a lot more because it has just the right amount of salt on it. And it's not as fatty. It just pairs well with the mushroom. Versus the T-bone, it's a little bit, the dressing or the seasoning is a little bit different. Um, I just think that this pairs better with the mushroom. And the mushroom's really good. All right, next up I guess is the healthy, healthiest option that we ordered here is the salad. So, let's see how this salad is, man. So it's iceberg lettuce with, with, a, with radish, some um, onions. These are pickled onions. Gotta get that steak in that bite. And of course, I'm gonna chase it with the crouton. Wow. Got him. It was good. The salad, the dressing. And the steak is amazing. Crouton is definitely fresh as well, but I think it overkills on the on the salad. On the actual taste of the salad, the herbs that they use in the crouton, but I like it. I still like it. Definitely a flavor overload for sure. Alright, so I have a little bit of everything. The steak, the pickled onion, the radish, the salad, and a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna give this a try. Something was sweet in there. Was it pickled? I think the pickled onion was a little sweet. Mm -hmm. Something was a little sweet. It was a little sour. It was a little cheesy. And um, the steak was delicious. I think it paired well when you put it all together. I actually liked it. I liked it a lot. Overall, great meal here at the Monaco's Man. It's definitely a, a must-do, must-try option uh, for folks that eat halal, halal meats. Again, they get their meat from Creekstone Farms. And... Um, Customer service is on point. Again, the attire is like business casual. Uh, so definitely, you can, get, you can, as long as you have like a button down or like a polo, or even like a, a decent night looking t-shirt with your kids and whatnot, I think you're, you're fine to come in. But I recommend coming during lunchtime because I think during dinner time they get a little crazy. But um, definitely come by and give them a try. My favorites was the ribeye uh, rib uh, bone in. Excellent, seared perfectly. Top with that butter, you know, top with butter and garlic, amazing flavor. And of course, you gotta pair that with the mushrooms, man, as a topper. So I like the filet mignon, mm -hmm. um, paired with the uh, mushrooms a lot. I think that tastes really, really delicious. Um, the T-bone, um, although it is also good, I think it's a little bit too much fat for me. But I mean, if you like fatty meat, then that's perfect for you. Um, but, and the salad was delicious. Um, and the lobster, um, the lobster, the bisque, the bisque, lobster bisque, that's really good. I just wish they would come with uh, bread, um, but we had bread as an appetizer, so that we would just use that instead. But it was delicious. Those were my favorite ones. Thank you. Thank you. So it. Thank much. you very much. Yo, fam! Thank you for watching this episode of Harun Eats and Travels. We appreciate the love and support.
eating at Delmonico's is an amazing experience. Definitely recommend it to all my halal eaters. Great food, great customer service. And it's our number one stop to eat in halal in Sin City. If you haven't already, guys, remember to subscribe to your boy's channel, leave a comment for your boy, and like the video, and continue to share.